Hi guys, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can extend an existing concrete slab. In this case we're going to be extending this existing slab and uh, moving it a little bit forward. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can install 2x4s and extend that. So I cleaned up the mess from here so we can take the new unit and uh, what we came to figure out that the slab, the existing slab is too small so we have to extend it at least 15 to 18 inches. So we have uh, enough room, you know, to install the new unit and then we still have enough work, uh, enough room to do the work. Um, so um, I'm going to have to put uh, two by fours around, kind of clean up this area and then pour concrete in there so you can have a bigger slab. Let me show you guys the new unit that I have and uh, the dimensions for it. So this is the new unit and uh, as you can see, a lot bigger unit and uh, the way you do the extension for the slab is, uh, you know, you have to use two by fours and you kind of do the measurement, you know, how high you want to go, um, basically, like, you know, how deep you want to go, basically. Um, so I'm going about four inches, um, you know, so I dug the dirt out, kind of clean up the area, dug it out, all out. Um, you can see I did quite a bit of uh, cleaning here and uh, just, uh, you know, make two by fours, right? So those two are equal length. And this is the length of the slab, which is four feet. So four feet, and then uh, what you do is you nail the two ends. So you kind of make like a half, a rectangle, and you just uh, stick it in. And uh, you know, then you just kind of secure it from the side with the dirt, and I uh, use a rock right there. Uh, the rock is okay, because once I pour the cement, the rock is not gonna become a part of the slab. So, um, you know, now it's uh, ready to pour the concrete. Now, what type of concrete that you use, you know, is the, is the biggest thing. So, of course, something comes in handy is uh, this wheel, wheelbarrow. And uh, the concrete that I'm using here is uh, by Sacrevit. Uh, it's a high strength concrete mix and it has uh, pebbles in there. As you can see, small rock particles. And that's something that gives it a strength. Now, it's better if you guys uh, put mesh in there. Uh, you know, it just gives it a lot more strength. It does not crack and stuff like that. But, um, you know, I, I don't think I have any mesh. You know, if you have any metal lying around, you can just throw it in there while you're pouring the concrete. And that just kind of strengthens the concrete. Um, you know, you can use uh, iron rods, uh, you know, bars and stuff, whatever you can buy. So I think uh, for my job, but if it's, if it's a bigger slab like this, you definitely want to have some kind of um, mesh metal uh, thing in there just to give it a lot more strength so it does not crack over time uh, but anyways um, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this bag I got four bags uh, now it does tell you how many bags you need so depending on the square footage you know if you are covering about four square feet you need three bags nine square feet you need five bags so I'm like in the middle of four and nine so I got four bags I think that should be plenty so it tells you how to mix it. I'm just gonna use this. Um, probably gonna start with like two bags mixing or maybe three bags and just to uh, dump it in and kind of level it and that should do it. So let me go ahead and mix it. I'm not gonna show you guys how to mix it. I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. Um, you know, just put it in, add water, keep mixing. Um, you know, you just wanna make sure it does not get too liquidy even if it does, the water is going to evaporate and you're going to be fine. But, you know, it's recommended not to make it too, too, too li liquidy. Um, you know, just enough to have a good paste. And uh, so you can just drop it down. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So let me go ahead and mix it and we'll see the final part of this. I just want to show you how it looks like when this is mixed. So this is good enough. You know, it's not... It's not too dry, it's not too wet, but it's just perfect. Now you can just dump it in there and uh, level it out. Okay, this is my day two. And uh, what happened was I kind of ran out of concrete bags. Um, the calculation that says on there was not really perfect. You know, I did my measurements and I thought I would be enough with the bags, but you know what, it wasn't. Or maybe I dug a little bit deeper than four inches. Uh, maybe that's what did it. Uh, but anyways, um, all this that you see 
was done by uh, four bags. So, <clears throat> you know, obviously it wasn't enough. But anyways, yesterday I didn't have time to go um, and get more bags. So there you go. I bought five more bags, you know, that's two. The remaining three are in there. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna pour the rest. So yesterday, whatever I made, I poured. <laughs> And uh, it is okay to pour in two sections, that's completely fine. I decided to use a mesh, uh, so I found this grill. This is nothing but just a metal grill, a mesh grill that, you know, you know goes in the closet. Um, I have no use of this, so what I'm doing is uh, I just put it in the middle, and I'm going to start pouring concrete on top, and this will give it strength. So, I'll go ahead and mix it, and add it. Okay, so I just poured the concrete, just dumped it in there, and then I'm just taking this and kind of leveling it up. Now one thing you want to make sure is you do check the level this against this to so make sure you put a leveler on this and this and make sure it's all leveled so your concrete that you're pouring is uh, nice and level because you don't want to have a uneven concrete patch because uh, and whatever you're using it for is going to be uneven on both surfaces so Leveling is very important. Um, in fact, I forgot to mention, but I was using a leveler when I was adding these uh, side two by fours. So make sure you do it during that time and then you keep check checking your level because what can happen is as you pour concrete and you know, if something hits this, this can go inside, which can change the level. So it's always a good idea to keep checking the level and you can raise it a little if needed. All right, so getting there and as you can see I think one more bag and that should uh, cover the whole thing so I'm gonna go ahead and mix one more bag and uh, do it then and uh, it's a lot more easier to mix one bag versus dumping two bags and trying to mix it because this thing is heavy as hell and uh, mixing is important make sure every bit of it is mixed up and it's not dry because if anything is dry it's not gonna uh, do a good job so uh, you can see the texture how it is you know this is perfectly fine it dries out perfect so let me go ahead and mix it and then we'll pour one more and level it up okay so it's all done and uh, you might see some water uh, once you're done on top you know which is okay it's just, it's just gonna evaporate not a big deal um, but uh, to level it up you know what I end up doing was you know once I was done filling it up you can throw some dry concrete on top and uh, not the pebbles but just the concrete and uh, just keep leveling it out you know so it will fill whatever is left you know if you have any uneven surfaces but you can see the water is just going to trickle down uh, from the side you know if you have some slope so which is completely fine uh, water on top is not a big deal you know but uh, the most important thing is leveling it up and uh, that's it you know my concrete slab is done and I'm just going to give it I think it's just within two days you know it's uh, uh, ready to be walked on so I'm just gonna leave it like that for two days and uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, I think the more time you give uh, for curing if you're storing something heavy on it the better it is so you know that's pretty much it guys you know hopefully it helps you guys extend your um, concrete slab and if you like the video guys please subscribe to my channel and like the video thank you